Hi, this is Anita with OutsideTheBox.name and uh, in this tutorial I'm going to talk about layer instructions. Uh, layer instructions sometimes come with uh, slide styles and those instructions are there to guide you to make certain changes. Um, you probably think, where can I find those instructions, you know, and why are they there? Well, let's just start by showing you this slide style, which is called Christmas uh, 2012 Blinking Snow Frame. And um, you can read here, use a landscape or portrait-oriented image. And if you use a portrait-oriented image, follow the layer instructions. This is because this, um, this style was um, designed around a landscape-oriented image and if you are going to use a portrait-oriented image, it's not going to look nice. You have to make certain changes. So let me go ahead and show you where you can find those instructions. Uh, we start by going to the layer stack here and clicking on one of the layers and this will bring you to the other tabs, layer settings, adjustments and effects and um, I think uh, you usually um, use the effects when you use on your slide or on your slide style um, and if I go down here I see all my layers and what I see also are those round green circles with the eye in them and that means that a layer who has this little icon in it they have instructions as well so if I click on this layer and I know there are instructions then you have to know you can find them under the layer settings so let's just click on the layer settings tab and here are the notes and here you can find the instructions for that layer um, in this case, this is a gradient, and this gradient is underneath a, um, a, a mask called frame lights, and those are the lights that you can see around this, uh, this frame here. And um, they're blue because the gradient is blue. So it says if you want to change the colors, right-click on the layer and choose Edit Layer, go to Gradient Options. Let's just go do it. Click on it, right-click on it, go to Edit Layer, go to Gradient Options, and voila! Then we have this beautiful window again where we can make all those changes in colors like I showed you before in the um, Change Your Color tutorial. And if you forgot all about it, you can go back and, um, and watch it again. I am just going to make some, um, some very easy changes. I'm going to make um, this color uh, green, solid green. I'm going to move this one in the bottom corner and uh, this one is now green. I'm going to remove this one by clicking on it and say cut and I'm going to drag this one all the way across and now this whole color palette is green and I say OK. So now you can see all the lights are green. Let's move on to the other layer that has instructions, this one. And you can see it's, an, um, it's an, a landscape oriented picture. If you use a portrait oriented image instead of a landscape you need to make some changes in the zoom settings. That's what it says. Go to the effects and click on each keyframe to make the changes. For keyframe number 2 and keyframe number 3 you have to change the zoom to 38%. So let's just uh, start with uh, replacing this layer with a portrait oriented image and for that I'm going to drag in this image from a dog and it's a portrait oriented image and I'm going to change all the images that are the same with this dog. I'm going to replace it with a dog image. Usually when you do one and you do the second, but the second all the other will automatically fill in so you only have to do it twice. Okay, so let's check it again. It says keyframe 2, keyframe 3, the zoom has to be 38. So I'm going to the Effects tab, and here's keyframe number one. Didn't say anything about keyframe number one, so we go to keyframe number two. Click on it, and we are going to change the zoom to 38%. And also for keyframe number three, 38. So going back to this one, going back to the layer settings to find the instructions, and it has the same instructions. So I'm going back to the effects, keyframe number two, I'm going to change it to 38, and I'm going to change this to 38. Well, you have to believe me on this one. All the other ones are the same. So I'm not going back between layer setting tab and adjustment tab. 
and just, oh, there's 38, there's 38. So if I scrub my line now, you can see it has changed and it fits way better in my window. Let's see if there are more. Hey, there is another layer that has instructions. Go to the layer settings again. And that's what we learned before in the color changing. It says to make changes in the color of this background. Go to the adjustment tab and de or activate the color colorize box. You can also, while still de or activating the colorize box, change the colors by clicking on the set button and pick a color from the color wheel. So we go to the adjustment tab for this one and go to the colorize box, we click in it and we will make some changes to adjust to the dog and I like that pink color so I'm going to click on this dropper, I'm gonna kinda click on this pink color and there you go. Now we have go to the effects and I'm going to show you this one. Okay, let's move on to the next slide. This one has layers with instructions also. And I'm going to the first one here and I'm going to the layer settings to find the instructions and it says if you use a portrait oriented image instead of a landscape you change the zoom and the pan settings. So this one is more complicated. You not only have to change the zoom settings but also the pan settings. It says go to the effects, click on the keyframe icon on the scrub line underneath and preview screens and change the settings. For all keyframes the zoom should be 50%. Well let's just first um, change this uh, landscape picture into a portrait one. So I'm going to pull my dog in again. Just to make it easy. So the zoom should be, f uh, for this one, should be 50%. I'm going to the effects and I'm going to change it into 50 while well, it already is 50. So I don't have to make any changes. It's 50. I'm going back to layer settings. Uh, also change the pan linear positions for this layer to X is minus 14, Y is 10. Okay, go to the effects again. So this is minus 14, this should be 10. And the same thing for keyframe number 2. Click on it, change it to 10. Click on keyframe number 3 and change it to 10. Okay, we made all the changes for this one. We go into the next one. Layer settings. Here it says the zoom should be 65. So I'm going to the effects again. For all keyframes it was 65. I'm going to change it to 65. Click on number 2, 65. And number 3, 65. Okay, go back because there are also changes for the uh, pen linear position. Uh, the X has to be 30 and the Y has to be 0 for all keyframes. So uh, 30 and this should be 0. Make it 0. Make it 0. And then this should be 0. So if I play it now, you can see those pictures are more focused, They're, they look better. Uh, I'm going down here and I see another one that has instructions and again this is a gradient layer. I'm going to the layer, layer settings to find the instructions and it says to change the colors, right click on the layer, choose edit layer, gradient options and click each icon to change the colors to your liking. Which is the same what we did before in this one over at the previous, uh, previous um, slide. Um, I'm going to click on it right click edit layer gradient options and I'm going to change the colors well this is also underneath um, a, um, a mask and this mask is called Mary Round and what it is are the, uh, are the are the lights that are underneath this circle when it moves and it turns around I'm going to change the colors into pink uh, pink and white I'm going to click on this one and then go to make the dropper go to the pink again here Okay, do the same thing for this one. Take the dropper, put it on the pink, there you go. And this one, I'm going to do the same thing here. Take the dropper, put it on the pink. So this is more, you know, fitting the image. And I say, okay, if I play it now, then you can see that those lights here are having more whitish, pinkish color instead of the, the bright red. Um... Let's go to the background here because this one has information also. 
and um, it says to make changes in this color in color of this background go to the adjustment and deactivate or activate the colorize box you can also while still activating this colorize box change the colors by clicking on the set button and pick color from the color wheel okay this one has to go to the adjustment tab so I go to the adjustment tab and go to the colorized one there's no there's no click in it so I'm just gonna click in it and I'm going to change the color I'm gonna do pink again I'm gonna take that dropper bring it over to pink and um, I think I'm gonna make it a little stronger by moving this a little bit like so and let's just play it and see how it looks like this is pretty neat so this is how you do it this is how you find the instructions and um, if you uh, just remember if you find an instruction here um, go to the layer settings layer settings will give you the notes and the notes will guide you through all the things you have to change if you want to make certain changes so um, I hope it was easy to understand and I wish you a lot of luck and um, thanks for watching